The Reminder app is one of the most underrated apps that comes installed on every iPhone. So in this video, I wanna show you exactly how to use it and exactly how to get the most out of your Reminder app. So the very first thing is make sure you launch the app store on your phone and look for reminders. It has an S at the end and the reminders app, make sure it's updated. And if for some reason you deleted it, make sure you install it from the app store. This is the logo and it's called reminders from Apple. So the very first step in using the reminders app is by adding a list down here. So your list will all appear over here. By default, there is only one. So I have a fresh install here. There's nothing else. So I'm going to go ahead and add a list first. So you could create one for work, you could create one for personal life, whatever you want, name the list over here. And underneath that, you have a couple of different options. They have one specifically for groceries, but this one I'm gonna choose standard. And there's another one called smart list. I'll talk about that in a second. You could go ahead and give it a color here and choose any of these icons. So I'm gonna choose a work icon here and then press done on top. And then it's gonna bring you to that list. So let me just go back on the homepage again. So we have this reminder list. Now we have this work list. I'm gonna just add one more over here and I'll just choose a grocery list here too. Let me make this one yellow, press done. Okay, so once you create yourself a few different lists, you could go ahead and add a reminder and then organize it into these different lists. These are kind of like folders on your computer and you would make individual files inside of those folders. So I'll set myself a work reminder and they also have a notes section too if you wanna add any specific notes. The details tab here actually lets you create this based on a due date. So if this has a due date, you could turn that on and off. If it has a specific time that this needs to be done, that could also be turned on with the due date. These tagging options are fantastic. So you could actually add a tag and then search based on these tags. So I just added a tag. If you want this to be location specific, this will use your current location. And you could also turn this on in chat. So if you're choosing a person here to chat with, you could actually pull this notification into that chat too. You could also flag it. So the flagging has a different section on top and the priorities too. So I'll just choose high just to show you what ends up happening. You could add an image and a website URL. Let me add it. And as you can see, if it's flagged, it's gonna show up over here. All of them are gonna show up over here. If it had a due date that was due today, it will also show up here. Or if it was another date, it will show up over in the schedule tab and you could always see them from here. And all the tags that I create, they will appear over here. So if I wanna see all the things that have the tag video, they will all appear under this tag section. I could add reminders over here as well. Now, one of the best ways to use this is by activating Siri here and actually speaking your reminder out loud. Set a reminder to buy flowers at 4 p.m. today. And you could see it's been added over here. So let me go ahead and exit and let me see. So it showed up under today. So if I go over here, buy flowers, and as soon as I'm done doing that, I could go ahead and check it off over here and it's gonna get removed here from my list. And with each reminder too, you could always add it to a specific list. So if it's work related, add it to that list. I'm gonna add it over here. So now I got a couple of them. Now inside of each list, you could jump into the list and you could actually select any of them and sort them. So if you need things to be based on priority order, you could actually change the order by grabbing them and changing the order just like that. And back on your homepage here, your list could always be pinned too. So if you really use this for work mostly, you could go ahead and pin it. And when you pin it, it shows up over here. So you could always unpin it from here if you don't like it there and it will come back and then you could just short it this way instead and move it to the top of the list. But if you pin it, it will just appear with these other ones on top. Now there's also something called templates. So if I press these three dots here, there are templates, I don't have any set. So to create a template, you could actually turn any list into a template. So if you just press the three dot on that list, it lets you save it as a template. And this is a work template. So if I go back to my homepage here, I could create a new list, but now choose from templates. And all the settings when I created this list will carry over. So if I created a new list and call it something else, I could name this YouTube, for example, press create. That's gonna create a different list, but it's gonna have all the settings, including the icon, including whatever else I changed in that list is gonna carry over to this one. And you could always share any of your reminders. So if you select on a reminder here, you could just press the share icon. This is gonna pull up your contact list or your email list, and you could directly send it to someone from here. And you also have smart lists. So if I create a list from here, you could go ahead and name it like before. And then down here, you could choose smart list instead. Now, the way this works is you could press edit filters. So if you select any filters, as long as these filters match, 
it will actually put things directly into that list so you don't have to manually do it. So if they have any tags, like let's say this one is health related, so I'll use the tag health every time I do this, it will just automatically move it there. If they have a specific location or if they have a specific date here, for example, a date before or a date after. So you could get really advanced with these options here or you could also choose any of these filters, not all of these filters. And if it has any of these filters, it will again automatically sort it. But this is a more advanced option here, so you don't have to use the smart list at all. You could just use a standard list. And the standard list, you just have to just make sure every time you create a new task that you move it to that list. But smart list is worth looking into. And if you go to the settings of your phone over here, the reminders app, if you scroll a bit down under this password section and these other native apps that come with Apple, if you go to the reminders app here, you could actually change some really useful settings here. You could actually turn off these daily reminders. So every day at a certain time, it will send you a reminder. So you could turn this off if you don't care to get that, or you could change the time of that. If anything is overdue, it will also pop up. So you could turn that on and off. And this also has a widget. So if you press and hold somewhere on your phone here, you could press the plus sign on top. And then you could go ahead and search for reminders. This has a really nice widget. It has three different looks to it. So if you want to add it like this, I like to add it like this right on top of my homepage like that. Press done. And this is always over here. So I could see exactly what I have to do based on today's dates. As long as I signed a date, I could go ahead and check them off directly from here. I never even have to launch the app. But if I want to, I could click it and it will launch the app for me. And that's your complete crash course on using the Reminders app. And the Notes app on your phone also has a bunch of hidden settings. So I covered that in a different video as well. I recommend you watch that next. Thanks for watching this one. I'll see you next time.